It can be a challenge finding a unifying theme for an exhibit as varied as this one. We definitely have, you know, sculpture, ceramics, functional, non-functional, um, drawing, painting, printmaking. We have, it, we have it all up here. But no matter what the medium or subject, these artists, who are all Red Deer College instructors, have at least one other thing in common. We all use tools and we all use our hands. Um, the idea this year was we would each show a piece of newer work along with a tool that we might have used to make that. Of course, the exhibit is in a college, so a lot of the works are designed to make you think, including this one, which is a new take on an old theme. He's taken uh, the Blue Boy figurine and modified it with a, a mask and some other paraphernalia. And the tool that he uses, or that he brought in, uh, is the tool that he's had since first year, his very first year of art school. The unique and personal relationship between the artist and his or her tools turns out to be another common theme. I chose a, uh, a paddle. I use it when I'm working with ceramics to either flatten or solidify uh, clay. It was given to me by a friend when I was in undergrad in third year and it has her name written on it and then uh, an X through it and then my name written on it. So it's something I'm always, whenever I use it, it makes me think of this friend. The tools are as varied as the work itself. The squeegee used by printmaker Lisa Turner in her commentaries on consumer culture. Ian Cook's pencil and eraser which helped create these mechanical drawings, Dave Moore's color wheel that guided his choice of hues for this nocturne, Daniel Anhorn's favorite versatile paintbrush that spelled out these reflections on the natural world. Each favorite tool is itself like an old friend. Trudy Golly is a ceramic instructor here at the college and she brought in some work she made uh, in China and this year she brought back some pieces um, that were found objects made into a mold to make a tea set. And uh, the tool she brought was is her fettling knife, which is a knife used to cut clay. Uh, and it's a tool that she's had for 30 years. Nine of the 10 artists brought in tools that are objects, like the pencil and knife used by Avery Andrecu, or this simple cloth strip favored by Julia Schumacher to smooth her ceramic creations. But the tool hinted at in Brenda Draney's paintings is something you can't see. She was painting from memory, but only the things she could actually remember would end up in the painting, so there was nothing imagined, just remembered. This sort of historical connection adds extra depth to the works on display. It also underscores to students the fact that their instructors are working artists. We get to look at their work all the time and criticize them, so this is sort of a way to uh, allow them to see what we do and uh, maybe do the same back to us. Patricia Smith, Shaw TV, Red Deer.